Hello friends and welcome to episode four of my junk journal binder Christmas extravaganza. In this episode, I am going to use some paint. I'm going to use some of that tool and I'm going to make a nifty pocket. We're almost done with this journal. So if you are making stuff right along with me, be sure to um, post it on Instagram and hashtag the rebookery. Okay, so let's talk about this page right here, this cardstock. It's actually like chipboard. And I think it was probably the packaging for something, but I got it at a scrap shop and it already had this hole cut out and the hole is perfect, so I love it. So I'll show you a couple of things you can do with it. <laughs> Leave it as it is. And this one, I just took that circle, that piece of circle quilt fabric, and I just glued with um, just my craft glue. I just glued right here, like a half circle or three quarters of a circle left the top open. And this could be a pocket. And then I punched two little holes over here and I just tied a tag and I tied some of that tool that the golden books were wrapped in. So this would be a really cool interactive page and then you could do all kinds of decorating on this. You could paint this, you could cover it with paper, you could do some collaging. So there's one way you could do it. Another way would be to take one of the book pages and cover the front with the book page and then on the back you could again take that circle and then this could become a little tag and you could decorate and paint and collage on this side. That would be kind of cool if you wanted to do that. But I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to use the tool that we had from the golden books, the stuff that was wrapped in the golden books. So I'm gonna take this and I wanna figure out how to turn this into a pocket. Well, all I did was I took it and I wrapped it around. Now I'm just gonna cut. Okay. And, ooh, I like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a nice layer of paint on this. I actually have a lot of paint. And I'm gonna add some spray. I just went and grabbed some spray that I have over there. Just add a little bit. I don't usually do this very much, but might as well. This side I painted and it's kind of messy and it's kind of dried and it's cool and I like it, but I just got an idea for the other side. So then on this side, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, a lot of the paper, the book pages. So I have some scraps over here and I think I'm just gonna cut them up. and do some collage. So here's some book pages. Let me see what else I have. I have some wrapping paper that I put into the kit. So you'll have two little pieces of wrapping paper and then you'll have a larger piece of wrapping paper. So I'm just gonna use one of the smaller pieces. So now I'm gonna do some collage. Now you can use wet glue or you can use dry glue. So now I have this all collaged and I'm gonna take what's left over on my brush and I'm just going to go over it. And this is why I didn't really care that some of it was showing through because I knew I was gonna go back over this. Okay, so just kind of go over it a little bit, give it a wash of color, and then I'm gonna take my rag or you can take a baby wipe and I'm just gonna wipe. And 
And if the paint's not coming off, just go get your rag a little more wet. Yeah, there you go. And so now, go through, cut off all the excess. I like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with my heat gun just to kind of get it dry. Okay, so then I have just like these little pieces right here left, and I think I'm just going to add those to the other side to kind of marry the two sides together. cool. I have my little ticket so I think what I'll do is I'll glue that on and then that ticket can also be like a label. Cool, 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 cool. Okay so there's that side. All right so let me get this out of the way. So now I'm going to go back to this side. So here is <clears throat> my tool. And I was going to wrap the tool around this way. But now that I'm thinking, now I'm thinking I'm not going to. Now I think what I'm going to do is just do one side. So. I'm going to cut this off. Now, if you have a sewing machine and you want to take this over to your sewing machine, you can. I am just going to staple. And because it's tool, I don't know that um, the glue will hold very well. So I'm just going to staple and I'm going to leave the top open so that I can put in whatever I want. Now you could leave the side open if you want, but I think I'm just gonna leave the top open. And I think, I'll just have this be like a tab and we'll staple that on. Cool. Oh, I like that. Okay. So now let's put it in the journal and let's see what it looks like. I already have my holes that were already in this, so. And there it is. Ooh, that is so cool. I love that. And it's got some texture and it's got some color. And then it's also, oh, I keep hitting that. And it's also a pocket right here too. And, or it can just peep through to whatever's on the other side. So I have this, these tally cards and in your kit, you will have a tally card. And I like to use tally cards um, as just kind of little, little extra places for journaling. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right here on the back of this page because I like to have flips and flaps and fold outs all throughout the journal going in all different directions. And I could use glue, but I think what I'm going to use is just my tape runner. And if you have glue, by all means, you could use glue. And part of the reason why I'm doing it is because I got a little bit of paint right here. So I'm just going to cover up that with this little card and now I have a fold out right here so it'll fold out this way it'll fold out this way 
Now I think what I'm gonna do is go to one of the recipe pages. So if you have the recipe pages in the back and you don't necessarily like the image, you can cover them up. And I put in some wrapping paper so you can cover them up with the wrapping paper. You can cover them up with some of the book pages. If you have some scrapbook paper that you wanted to use, you can do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pocket so that it'll go right inside here. So I'm gonna use my glue. I think what I'm gonna do, take and put a ticket here. I'm gonna take the tearaways from the tags and I'm just gonna add those down here, just kind of add a little bit of interest, kind of offset them a bit. And you could staple them on. I'm just gonna glue mine on. You could stitch them on. And this could be a little place for some journaling. This could be where you write the date or if you're gonna label um, people or, or anybody in the photo or where you were. Yeah, so that just adds a little bit of interest. And all I'll have to do is go through and punch my holes. And because I glued this recipe page to the wrapping paper, it now makes the recipe page a little bit stronger. So that can go in. All right. And I have a circle punch. And so I like to always, if I have a pocket, I always like to do a half circle punch, just to kind of show that that's a pocket. So yeah, now I got a pocket and a place to journal here and a place to journal back here. And I always find that when I use the recipe pages, the black and white is easier to journal on. Um, so if it's if the colors don't work for me, those are the ones that I would um, co cover up. Okay, now let's make an interactive security envelope. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the folded edge off. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it back because I like that blue and I want that blue to show through. And I'm just going to use a glue stick. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna add a little color to this side, but it's also gonna strengthen this because this is where I'm going to put my holes. So the problem is, is that when I go to close this and I make my holes, these guys will be in the way and I won't be able to open it. So I'm gonna trim this off. I'm just going to use this. There we go. Just going to line it up so I have a straight edge to trim. There we go. And now that's given me an offset, so now I can go and punch my holes. This becomes a page. And I love the way we put the um, diamond piece over, like as on the, in the, the inside flap. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing. If I have a photo, I can tuck it right in there. And I can do the same thing over here. And so, Let's look at what our journal looks like. Oh my gosh, that is super cute. Ooh, look at that. That is awesome. And there's so much fun and interactive stuff going on in here. Oh my gosh, and we're not, I mean, there's like so much we can still do. Okay guys, for now, I'm going to stop and I will talk to you later.